Today, I'm going to address the social media platform of Instagram. You may be immediately thinking, wow, yes, I love Instagram. Wait, have I checked Insta today? I wonder if so-and-so Instagram. Did my latest Instagram get enough likes? My friends, that is just the problem. Before I dive into the specifics, let's talk about digital communication as a whole. As suggested by media scholar Nancy Bame, digital communities such as those found on Instagram have five general characteristics. The one I'm going to address today is practice. I don't mean practice like you practice for a sport or you practice playing the piano. I mean practice as in the norms that Instagram users implement on a day-to-day -day basis. In terms of Instagram, this means that if I like your posts, you'll like mine back. I also looked at BAME's suggestion about the affordances of digital communication. Instagram allows users to construct a perfected and ideal picture of themselves, although edited and filtered, to ensure that followers see them in an ideal light. According to Herring and Kapidzik, self-presentation is generally considered to be motivated by a desire to make a favorable impression on others, or an impression that corresponds to one's ideals. So really, Instagram isn't about the user themselves, but about the grand perception that other people have based on a falsely constructed persona. Now that we have the basics down, let's get back to the problem. As many of you already know, Instagram is a form of picture-based social media that allows users to form a profile based on pictures and captions, allowing followers to see only what the user deems worthy. While I may sound pessimistic about the platform, I too am an Instagram user and post only pictures that I deem worthy, which is exactly what the huge problem is. Are users letting Instagram define their self-worth based on the amount of followers one has or the popularity of their throwback Thursday? Behind it all, I propose that there is a problem with the underlying reason people post pictures on Instagram. People would like to think, oh, I post them because I like the picture, I do it for me, love yourself first, independence, blah, blah, blah. But really, users are posting pictures for other people and the satisfaction they get from one single like or comment of, oh my god, so pretty on their post. This problem is seen clearly through the recent outburst from Asena O'Neill, a former Instagram model who quit social media due to the realization of her inauthentic presentation online. Let's take a quick look at this recent event from the eyes of two news sources that captured O'Neill's thoughts regarding the issue. According to ABC News, O'Neill claims that she quit social media in part because of the outlook she was shedding on her younger sister. She said, what I'm saying isn't revolutionary, but I think it's just a discussion worth having with how much value we put into putting photos of ourselves online. She is so right. How much value does the picture of you drunk at a bar really have? Or the picture of the cinnamon roll you bought because it was so insta-worthy, but probably took one bite of? O'Neill also explained the effort she put through in order to ready herself for a daily Instagram photo shoot, including depriving herself of food, taking over 100 photos to get the perfect shot, and employing her sister to be her live-in photographer. O'Neill also said, everything I did was for likes and followers. I did shoots for hours just to get the photos for Instagram. Is this really worth it? Are the pictures we as a society put up on Instagram really that valuable that we have to change our daily lives in order to incorporate the production of them? The answer here is no. O'Neill's argument was also documented by NBC News, but in a different light. O'Neill told NBC that she deleted over 2,000 photos here today that served no real purpose other than self-promotion. What kind of life is that? And I'm so guilty of it as well. I can recall times that I've thought of something clever and been like, this will get me a lot of likes. And really, it's pathetic. Does it truly increase our worth as humans to collect hundreds of likes and followers on a social media platform that doesn't depict the real us? O'Neill also told NBC, I'm the girl who had it all, and I want to tell you that having it all on social media means nothing in your real life. Preach, sister. This is the real truth. Your real life is what's in front of your present self, not the life you construct online through your phone or your computer. I don't think the internet or social media are awful resources because I myself utilize multiple platforms. We are scholar Dana Boyd's version of digital natives because we grew up with the internet and know how to use it. Don't get me wrong, social media boosts self-esteem and helps foster connections between teens and people in general. I support the need to feel empowered as an individual, but Instagram is promoting a fake sense of self and extremely narcissistic behavior. So what can we do about it? There's just one simple step. Stop worrying about what other people think. I realize that's an age-old tidbit of advice that moms give their kids when they enter the awkward stage, but it has so much truth to it. Why should we care about other people's opinions and thoughts about what we post on social media? Social media accounts are for us and for the documentation of our lives, not for the judgment of others. According to a narrative from Huffington Post about why users quit social media, one said, I wanted to live a better, more present life. Nobody else's social media enhanced life should matter if you truly are doing it for you. And if you simply can't step aside from the narcissism of Instagram, delete the app. 
start living your life as a present self for a while and regain your true sense of self. As O'Neill did, move away from social media and start focusing on the realism that's right in front of you. A life that you don't have to filter or add a caption to. That's the life that's important and relevant. Social media can be great if users can come to terms with how easy it is to let it consume you. I encourage you to think next time you're posing Instagram, am I truly doing this for myself? And if the answer is no, put the phone down. Simple as that.